Hello, boys and girls. Today, we are going to be talking about one more way for us to record information or sometimes called data. Uh, so far, we have done tally charts and we made a table. And today we're going to talk about making a graph. And sometimes you use the tally chart or a table in order to make a graph. So uh, there are several different kinds of graphs. And today we're going to talk about a picture graph. Okay. And so um, it says down here at the bottom that we have asked five students to vote for their favorite winter activity. And favorite winter activity, that's the title of this graph and the, the activities are sledding, ice skating, and hockey. So when I asked five students what their favorite activity was, I had four people who voted for sledding and I had one person who voted for hockey. Okay. And so you can see that we call this a picture graph, but the only pictures I drew here was circles. OK, sometimes it's real easy, depending on what the different um, things are, it's easy to draw those pictures. And sometimes it's more difficult to draw a sled or ice skates or hockey. So you can just use a circle or draw a circle and as if that's a counter you know, our yellow and red counters. And those circles then can represent the pictures, okay? But then once we have it in a graph, we can see the information real clearly, okay? Which one had the most votes? Yes, sledding did. And which one had the least amount of votes? Yeah, ice skating, because it didn't even get one vote. All right, let's Turn it up. Well, you don't have papers, but we're going to look at the back of this and just kind of review here that a graph, a graph. Oh, let me get my pen. Hold on. Okay, right here is where I'm reading up at the top. A graph shows information or data. A picture graph uses pictures to show the data. You can use a tally chart to make a picture graph. So notice these words that are highlighted. That means they are important words and they are vocabulary words. So I want you to be learning them, okay? A graph shows information or data. So another word for data is information. And then a picture graph uses pictures to show that. There are other kinds of graphs, as I said before. There's a bar graph, there's line graphs, and so on. But we'll talk about those later, okay? Today we're talking about a picture graph. So here is our tally chart for favorite apple color because you know apples can be red, they can be yellow, or they can be green. So they have asked people and one person, there's one tally mark by the red apple, so only one person voted for their favorite color being red apple. And three people said that their favorite color of apple was yellow and two people said green okay so remember how we did some tally marks and so on well now we're going to use this information to make a picture graph so we can show this one tally mark by drawing or a circle actually if this was bigger I think it would be in the shape of an apple which is very close to a um, circle <laughs> And you know how hard it is to draw on these screens. So I'm just going to make circles and color them in. Okay. And so then we had three people who voted for the yellow. And we had two people who voted for the green or said that green was their favorite. So remember, there was a survey question. That survey question was, what is your favorite apple color. All right, so now we can look at this graph. Now we can see very clearly and quickly which was the favorite. Yellow, yes, because there's more pictures, right? And then which one was the least favorite? 
Yes, the red, because there's fewer of those. All right, let's look at number one here. Complete the tally chart and the picture graph. So here's the tally chart up here at the top, and then we're going to use that information to complete the picture graph down here. Okay, so it says write the totals in the tally chart. Okay, favorite, here's the title, favorite shape. So the survey question was, what is your favorite shape? How many people said triangle? Yes, five, because remember it's got that diagonal that goes through there. How many people said circle? One. And how, pe how many people said square? Three. Okay, now are these fairly easy things to draw? Yeah, a circle is about as easy as a triangle or a square. So I'm going to attempt to actually draw the shape instead of just using circles for all of them. But it says use the tally chart in exercise one. This is exercise one to make a picture graph. How many people said triangle? Five. So I need to draw five triangles. Two, three, four, five. And how many people said circle? Only one. And how many people said square? Three. Okay, see how much easier it is to see the information when you've got this graph as opposed to the numbers? Yeah, we know that a five is more than one, but you have to look carefully at the numbers. And we can just see, well, this line of triangles goes out farther. So that was the most popular um, of the shapes and so on. So it says down here, what is a picture graph? And describe it. Okay, tell someone close to you what a picture graph is. All right, I hope you said that it is a graph that has pictures in it to organize the information, possibly from a tally chart. All right, there you go. Um, the next are the slides. Again, uh, you may have to toggle back and forth because you're going to be making a picture graph, but the, on the slide before is going to be the tally chart that you um, finish. So not really uh, a whole lot I can do about that. Do your best. Thanks.